Right, I'm coming. Give me a second. Not on my bed. You're making me nervous. Not on my bed, Will. <laughs> Hello everyone, today I am joined with Wilbo Darvo! Hello! It's, do you know what, it's been, like it's been too bloody long since you were last on this channel. I I think, when was the last time you were on this channel? We did that, uh, uh that thing in LA, didn't oh, we? Oh, we did, that's when I got sellotape in my hair and it really, really hurt. Yeah. Throwback! Oh! So today marks a return, it's been three months since the last one. It's return of confessions, where I get you guys to send me in your confessions, completely anonymous. Unless you put your name in there and say, I want to be known, which a lot of you do, which is a bit weird, I think, but who, hey-ho, <laughs> everyone to themselves, I guess. So Will's going to help me read out some confessions, and hopefully we can give out maybe some advice as well on yeah. how to deal with his confessions yeah. if, they do, if you do need help. This, this might be the most confusing message I've ever seen. Hey, Joe. I have a confession to make. Great. We, yeah. we know what's going on there. Some time ago, I got hit by a car, but everything is fine. Good. Okay. Well, that's uh, good news. But I think I lost my ability to write a certain word. Okay. okay. But the problem is, is that word I mean is my name. So she can't write. She can't write, write her own name. She can't write Hannah. But she signed off the note. Greetings, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah's lost the bloody plot, hasn't She's, she? she? I'm sorry, Hannah, but you... You, you're not making any sense, love. If you genuinely couldn't write your own name after getting hit by a car, I would. my only advice would be to get hit by a car again and hope that it, the ability comes back to write your own name. Literally the is worst that... advice I've ever heard. It's like, hello, Joe. Hi. My, <laughs> hello. My confession is that every time I meet a new boy for the first time, my, thought, my first thought is always if they would be good in bed or not. Definitely Sorry, Daniel. I'm standing this so early in the morning, still not been to sleep, and I start work at 8 a.m. Lovely. She, well, first of all, Danielle, you are reckless. I mean, that's not the first thing I think when I meet people. Is that the first thing you think? Like, I'm not gonna lie, if... Is that the first thing you thought when you met me? You thought... No, no, well, with girls... Good in bed. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've rumbled me. First thing I thought, that's why I invited you around today. <laughs> I don't think Danielle's on her own in this one. I've thought that a lot of times when I meet... When I meet certain um, women, sometimes, it depends, like, how they come across. Yeah. The, the first moments of meeting them, I do... And sometimes even strangers, this is really weird, isn't it? It's really bad. <laughs> Sometimes I look at strangers and think, I wonder what they'd be like in bed. Yeah. Is that bad? I don't think that's bad. No. She's making it seem like it's a, it's a constant thing. Like everyone she meets like, hello, nice to meet you. Oh, uh, like, is the good in bed. Hi, hello, Grandma. Nice haven't seen yeah. you in so long. Ah! <laughs> Dear Joe, so this is my confession. When I was eight, what year? I used to go to the candy aisle inside the shop, shop spelled shoppes. S-H-O-P-P-E-S. I mean, that's just not how you spell shops, is it? I used to go in the candy aisle inside the shoppes, and I would bend down and look for stray candies underneath the shelf. <laughs> Bit rank. That's like that's germ central. You're gonna get ill. If I could find any, I would pick them up and eat them. I remember finding Smarties, unwrapped chocolate bars, and lollipops. I watched a birthing video one late night on Windows XP when I was five. <laughs> Do you reckon there's childbirth videos on you? Oh, oh my oh, god, there is! Oh. Holy! That's got a million. Which one do you want? Almost had a million. Let's watch this. The thing is, it's it's a natural thing. Of like, course. Yeah. Oh! Why is her husband also naked? <laughs> no. About a year ago, I got my phone taken away from having an F in two of my classes. That's all right. I once got a U in Did my you? class. Yeah, ungradable. I really wanted it back because I got so bored sometimes and I don't really like to watch TV. So I went looking through the drawers in my mum's room trying to find it. Oh, oh no, wait. Nice. I don't even want to know. No. I don't even want to know. And instead of finding my phone, yep. I found a vibrator. Nice. I can never look at my mum the same way. I don't blame you. I yeah, don't, I don't think I could I either. Don't blame. What would you do in that situation? Would you speak to her about it, or would you just pretend you didn't see it and erase pretend it from I didn't memory? See it. Definitely pretend I didn't see it. You wouldn't smell it or anything. Like vibrators come in different shapes and sizes. What? The <laughs> I mean, there's, there's not much advice we can give to you on that one. I mean, it's I don't just... think I would say anything. You think? No, I wouldn't come trying and say, "Mum, what is this?" Explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I mean, in front of like the whole rest of the family. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Joe, when I was little, I wasn't very popular. In brackets, I'm I, I'm still not to this day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I had invented an imaginary friend, Logan. We were super close, but he was lonely. Keep in mind, I had the mind of a six slash seven year old. So I invented two more friends for him, Ethan and Daniel. But Daniel grew super jealous of my relationship with Logan. So he killed Logan and then himself. Ethan was so scarred and damaged that I had to check him into an asylum. He is still there to this day. P.S. I never visited. I've never visited him. P.S. I've never visited. I can't say that word. P.S. I've never visited it. I can't say it. P.S. She can't say. I can't say that word. P.S. I've never visited it. Visit, I'm putting too many D's on the end. 
P.S. I've never visited him. Say a sentence. I can't. F- off. Say it all the time. P.S. I've never visited. <laughs> I can't say it. P.S. To... I've never visited him. P.S. I've never visited. <laughs> I think I'm broken. <laughs> I think I'm broken. <laughs> P.S. I've never visited him. Hi, Joe. My <laughs> name is Dan, and I'm 22 years old. Oh. Ever since I was little, my parents would take me to Cornwall on beach holidays with my younger brother. Same. Well, I had an older sister, not a younger brother. As my little brother was a bit younger than me, he was really into making sandcastles. Yep. And I was really into being a destructive little s***. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I can see where this is going. As you can probably guess, I would wait for my little brother to finish making his masterpiece and take a good long run up and boot his newly made sandcastle <laughs> as hard as I could, which landed me in a lot of trouble. But the adrenaline rush was worth it. Oh, the adrenaline rush was worth it. Years of, of past. Of, of booting your little brother's <laughs> sandcastle. I couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> Whoa! I'm throbbing! <laughs> Years have passed those days, but whenever I see a sandcastle, I get the urge to kick it as hard as I can, regardless of who's made it or if it's finished or not. Oh my god. Poor, some poor, poor <laughs> random kid is probably building something somewhere. Is, oh, it, is, yeah. there another, is there another turn? This landed me in a fair bit of trouble last year when I went on holiday with my mates to Cos in Greece. Oh. My mates don't know about this little sandcastle kicking fetish and were shocked when I said, watch this lads, <laughs> and ran up to a newly made sandcastle and kicked it in front of the family and made it. <laughs> it turns out you can't get away with something like that when you're in your early 20s. <laughs> Have you ever seen like a boy, like a grown man, boot a sandcastle? I know it's you, <laughs> I know Dan. It's you. I know it's you. Hi Joe, my name is Paul, in brackets, don't laugh. <laughs> Imagine, and it says, don't laugh, Will. Then it says, imagine growing up being called Paul. Especially, okay, imagine being growing up and being called Paul. Especially when you're a female. I think my parents didn't like slash want me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is tragic. Anyway, my Pardon confession. Minute, that wasn't the confession. That wasn't, that wasn't so the confession. So that long-winded like, opening was just him just... Her. 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 Being called Paul. Yeah, her ra- long... <laughs> I've never met a girl called Paul in my life. Paul. Paula. Anyway, my confession is at the self-checkout in my local Tesco, I always lie to the machine, in brackets, and myself, and say I didn't use any carrier bags, when in fact I always use at least one. I may save myself 5p every time I visit, but I hate myself more and more every time I do this. My name is Fraser, Hi, and not Fraser. only do I wipe back to front. Wait, hang on, let me just work this out. Oh, so it goes like over your gooch. It goes, what are you? What is wrong with you, no, Fraser? Listen, listen. I also scrunch the paper, not fold. Oh, you're the. Does this make me a bad person? Yes, yes it does. Fraser, it does, actually, what is wrong with you? I, I have a lot of questions. First of all, Fraser, who taught you to do that? Yeah, where are you getting this from? Because that's not normal. Stop what you're doing. Oh, Just stop. Stop it, Fraser. There's no place in this world for people like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That is grim. Hi there, Joe. Steve here. 43 from Essex. I thought I'd drop you an email after hearing my daughters bang on about you and your videos for the last year or so. I apologize. Uh, Apologize, Steve. I am sorry. (laughs) Um, So one day when I got home from work, in brackets, proper work, winky smiley. I don't know how to feel about that. He's basically saying that YouTube isn't a proper job. Which, okay, fair enough. But then I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of more concerned about the fact <laughs> that just absolutely mugged you off. <laughs> I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of more concerned at the fact that a 43 year old bloke from Essex has just sent me a winky smiley over <laughs> email. <laughs> so one day when I got home from work, in brackets proper work, my eldest daughter Lily showed me one of your videos. Now remember, I've been hearing your name in this house for over a year, and it's driven me mad. Uh, Once again, I apologise, Steve. Please don't hurt me. (laughs) So whilst watching your latest prank, I must admit I was cracking up inside, but didn't want to give the girls the satisfaction that I enjoyed a Thatcher Joe video. There's there's nothing wrong with that, Steve! So I kept stone-faced and just said, that's good, Lily, now do something productive. Whilst I secretly carried on watching video after video. (gasps) Now I'm a secret Thatcher Joe fan and my daughters don't know. (gasps) I enjoy all your pranks and vlogs and even enjoy you... uh, And I even enjoy watching you play video games, which I never thought I'd say as a 43 year old bloke. No. (laughs) The best thing about it is, sometimes I'm quick and watch your new video before my girls do. And it's amusing to hear them talk about it on the dinner table and I pretend slash have no idea about what it is and haven't seen it. Keep it up and all the best. Steve, the secret Thatcher Joe fan. (laughs) <laughs> That's nuts. So Hi Joe, my confession is that I secretly find it hilarious when I see a toddler child fall over. What? Wait, 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 what, 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 what? 
<laughs> Say that again. I can sit there and watch fail videos and not even smile, but as soon as I see a toddler stack it off a climbing frame, I lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Joe, I adopted an orangutan for my 13th birthday. I am now 20 and haven't checked to see how it is since adopting it. Hashtag reckless. You know like when you're younger you can like, adopt an animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. don't ever actually sort of see you it, like but pay, you, you, like you, you a pay, thing, yeah. yeah, you pay monthly to basically... You get like a picture of it Yeah, you get a picture, you get a little cuddly toy version of it, but you don't actually own the animal. You don't, yeah. You're not actually looking after the animal, but you adopt it. I don't think that's that bad. No. Hi Joe. Hi. I have a BFFFL. Which is BFFL. B Be F best friends forever. Best friends, friends for life. And we've been best friends since we were in year seven. We're now in year eleven. Okay, that's good. What does that mean? Because you know, at my school, we we would call it like the fifteens, the thirteens, the twelves. We everything about my best friend is perfect. Wait, what school did you go to? Everything about my best friend is perfect, okay. except for one small thing. Oh no! Here we go. What is it? Her mum's cooking. Oh, it's just truly awful, Joe. Truly. F awful <laughs> to the point where I physically want to throw up when I sit down at the table with my friend and a mum. Oh my god! I've been trying good. to avoid going around her house for years, and she gets very suspicious and asks why we always hang out at my house and not hers. But I just can't tell the reason I don't like going around her house is because my mum serves us was essentially meaty dog food for dinner. Oh, wow. that is rank. Anyway, that is your confessions. Thank you so much for sending them in. If you did enjoy the video, get a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Will. Hey. And also, Will, as one who's only gone and done a bloody book, hasn't he? I've done one. Using it? Oh, no, wait, that's fine. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, but that's also still available if you want to go and get that one. <laughs> but Will has brought out a book called This Modern Love. Yay. Uh, do you want to give us a little insight into what it's about? It's basically a book of love letters. Cool, that'll do. Okay. Uh, so if you want to go, if you want to check that out, check in the link description below. It's out in what, like ten day, nine day, eight yeah, days? Yeah, August eleventh in the in the UK, and then August fourteenth in the US. I think. Sweet. So go and make sure you go and pre-order it. Go and get it because I've already read the first bit and I really enjoyed it. You liked it, did you? I did. You're not just saying you liked it. I was it. having a poo at the time. Okay. Like, yeah, toilet I saw reading. The I saw the toilet <laughs> reading, but I I did enjoy it. Right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week with a Sun Sunday special. Bye, Cheers. guys. Bye.